Welcome back to Jaden doesn't know how to map out video links. Okay, so here's the story from Japan getting home from Japan I was gonna talk about in the last video, but didn't. Please don't make fun of me. It was a long flight. I was very tired. Just kidding, I'm an actual idiot here, there's no excuse. So after another quick flight of 11 sleepless hours, I landed safely and was ready to go home and die. My roommate offered to pick me up, but my house is a good 40 to 50 minutes away from the airport, and I felt bad for making them pick me up so much, because a week before I went to Japan, I was in the UK visiting friends for my birthday. Don't give me any birthday wishes, it was in September, you'll be an embarrassment to the both of us. They'd already driven me to and from the airport three times in the past three weeks, and I didn't want them to use up any more of their time and gas. So I let them know I was just gonna grab an Uber, which worked out because they were invited to go get lunch with a friend and were worried about time overlap. Win-win. They get a nice lunch, I get in a stranger's car. Warning flag number one, I never used Uber before. I have my own car. I usually don't need to f use an app to find a guy with a weird R name to drive me around. Ten minutes of confused button pressing later. Ding! Your Uber will arrive in five minutes. Nice. <laughs> Hello? Yes, is this Jaden? Yeah, I'm at the gate. Uh, terminal B between area 44 and 45. Uh, I don't see you. Are you near b Hello? Your Uber has canceled. What? If we were on a date and I was waiting at the table and you called me from outside the restaurant like, Hey, you here? Yeah, I'm at the back and the, the, the table to the right. <laughs> You can't stand me up like that. At least give me some sort of reason. Come on, ba come back, Rajesh. Anyway, I found out that I needed to be on the upper level of the airport because that's where all the app pickups are. Whoopsie, that's my bad. But he could have told me that when he was on the phone with me in the first place, Rajesh. Go up the stairs. Boom. Everyone's problem is solved here. Here's a bunch of money. When you think about it, Uber is kind of like the opposite of a kidnapping. Take me home. I got a new Uber that took 15 minutes to arrive, and an hour later I was almost home. Maps can be kind of wonky with my house address, so he started driving past my neighborhood. Uh, oh, it, it was back there. Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Which one was it? I live in a little community with a bunch of houses, so I said it was the one on the corner. Could have been more specific, but that's just the, what came to my mind in the moment. He turned around but stopped at the wrong house and was like, this one? Look, I was running on no sleep for the past 20 hours, so my mush of a brain started being spazzy and socially anxious about the whole situation that wasn't even a situation. Almost all my brain cells were dead at this point, except for the one that ate grass in elementary school. Oh, you had to correct him because Google Maps is being weird? Huh. <laughs> I didn't know you were Satan. I felt like I was bothering him a whole lot with all the one corrections I gave him. So in a panic, I was like, This is the wrong house. Yep, this is it. Thanks so much. I really appreciate it. Sorry for the hassle. Wow, it's wow. Is it great to be home at this house that I live in again? Oh, how I missed it because it is mine. I'm paying this guy and it's his job to take me to my house. So if it accidentally stops at the wrong one, it helps literally no one for me to be like, oh yeah, this is totally it. I've become a lot more socially confident and calm in the past year, but this is not a good example of that improvement at all. I am aware I look like a wreck right now. I got my stuff from the trunk, walked up the driveway. Thanks! Now I'm standing in the front step of this random house hiding from an Uber driver, hoping the people who actually live here don't realize the random girl standing here for literally no reason. Yes, this is exactly the spot I wanted to be in right now. Honey, did we adopt a 21-year-old Asian girl, or is this a very unthreatening house robber? I was stuck there waiting for him to leave, but he was just sitting there! Hey, can you get off the driveway I don't own already? What the heck, man? I got houses to rob! He was probably waiting to get connected to a new person to pick up, but it wouldn't have looked that great if he was also noticing me poke my head out and peer at him every 10 seconds. I couldn't have started walking to my actual house because I already pretended to walk into my house and he would have seen me and been like, Hey, wait, this isn't your house. What the heck? You lied to me. 
for literally no reason. <laughs> and I couldn't have gotten out of the car and started walking to my actual house in the first place because I told him that this was my house. He even double checked, like, you sure this is good? And I was like, yep. I was so loopy and lethargic from being up for the past 20 hours of traveling. I couldn't even tell what was reasonable at this point. Was I actually pulling this off like I thought I was? Were the neighbors just watching me dig myself deeper and deeper into this hole? Could the driver actually see me this entire time? Because that would have been hilarious. Mommy, mommy, look! A dirty homeless girl! He finally drove off and I walked over to my actual house across the street. <sighs> yes. I've been looking forward to collapsing onto my bed since landing. I can't believe I just did all that. I'm glad the neighbors didn't call the police on me. But I don't have any keys. This wouldn't have been a problem at all because like I said, I have a roommate. But hey, foreshadowing, were you here this whole time? They were at lunch and weren't coming back for the next three hours. I'm not a professional when it comes to anything, and that includes breaking into houses. But lord dang it if that skill wouldn't have been pretty darn handy to have right there. Is it a crime to break into your own house, your honor? Yes, no, this is kind of a weird situation for both of us, ain't it? I tried the front door, the back door, the garage door, the secret door. There wasn't any way I was gonna be able to get into this house, which is how it should be. <laughs> But I was still mad about it. Fucking dang it, living in a house that people can't break into. God, stupid. I was so drained, I contemplated just laying on the ground of my backyard for three hours until someone came home. But I decided that would be an inefficient use of time, and also too much of a depressing scene to look at for anyone walking by. So instead, I ordered another Uber to drive me to where my roommate was so we could all hang out and then come back to the house together. Almost an hour later, I'm finally there. I tried my best to be social and energetic. We went and got lunch and stuff, but I was just in critical survival mode. Some people get all loose when they're tired or giggly or maybe even more social. But for me, my body just reverts to maintaining the baseline functions for me to just, just be a human. I'll breathe and look around and not fall over, but that's basically it. Oh my god, is Jaden okay? They were getting sushi, so I tried to eat some, but coming back from eating sushi in Japan to some random place in California was just another variable of disappointing. I'm not having a good time right now. We got home, I crashed onto my bed, and proceeded to sleep for 17 hours. <laughs> There's no moral to the story, I just liked it. It makes me laugh <laughs> because I'm uh, being stupid. But if I were to make one up last minute, Make sure you can get into your house without keys because you never know when you're gonna need to get in without keys. <laughs> that was really bad. Oh well, sorry, I don't know what else you want from me. See you later, but not in my house because you can't get in. Ever since that incident, I've always left my house with my keys, which is honestly what I should have been doing from day one, but you know what? Shut up. Thanks a bunch for watching the video. As of right now, VidCon London is coming up, and I'm really excited to go and see my friends and some of you. I feel super freaking lucky to be able to travel around and do this kind of stuff. Younger Jaden didn't have any plans for the future, but this is definitely beyond anything I could have tried to imagine. Also, Ari's in the sound booth right now. Yeah? <laughs> he laughs when I laugh. You wanna do it? <laughs> Um, you're dope. I appreciate you. Talk to you later. Bye.